welcome back to More Salt. My name is Nicole, and instead of cooking food today, we are making a very festive and Christmassy drink, eggnog, minus the eggs. Now, obviously I'm using a non-dairy milk for this. Normally, I usually use almond milk, but I thought I would change it up, and instead I'm using cashew milk. Cashew milk is a great alternative. It's a little more creamy than almond milk, and it doesn't have soy in it. And soy kind of reacts badly to some people. It's a little processed. I know that I can't eat too much of it or else I break out a lot and my stomach hurts. So this is a great alternative if you're sensitive to soy and you don't want soy milk. Soy milk is great. It's very creamy and wonderful, but you know, sometimes you just don't react as well to it. So instead of almond milk, I will be using cashew milk. It's great, a wonderful alternative. Obviously, you can use whatever milk you like. You can probably use all coconut milk if you want. I feel like eggnog is one of those things where you either love it or hate it. I am definitely on the love it side. So gather around all of your eggnog loving family and friends and show them how to make this recipe. It's simple, it's easy, it's sweet, and it's just divine. So here's everything you need to make your no egg eggnog. Two cups of cashew milk, a half cup of full fat coconut milk, a third of a cup raw cashews that have been soaked, four to six dates, depending on how sweet you want it, one teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg, a pinch of cinnamon, a pinch of cloves, and a pinch of salt. One teaspoon vanilla extract. There's pretty much only one step to making this no egg eggnog once you have all your ingredients together, and that is put everything in a blender and blend it until everything is smooth and creamy. You can serve this eggnog as is, or you can add a little rum to it, a little brandy. And of course, you'll want to top it with freshly ground nutmeg. I definitely recommend using a whole nutmeg and a whole nutmeg pod. I don't know what they're really called. We'll just call them pods. A whole nutmeg pod and just um, grate it on top because it's so much more flavorful than the pre-ground nutmeg. I hope you all try this recipe at home. It is quite amazing if I do say so myself. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you're up to date on all the videos that I post. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. My handle is at more salt, please. Thanks so much for tuning in this week, and I will see you in the next one.